Berlin, where I'm with Nasmech, uh, something else than your run-of-the-mill black metal band. So guys, let's start from the beginning. The band was founded in uh, 2013. Can you tell me the beginning of the band and the ideas behind Nasmech? Uh, yeah, we formed Nasmech in 2013 after I met um, Magus in India and it was for me uh, inspiration to totally a new genre of music that I've never heard before because I'm coming from classical scene. I studied in uh, university as a musician and my main instrument was piano. So when I had to immigrate from Iran to outside of the Iran to find a place to live, I couldn't take my piano so I thought okay what is the most close instrument to piano so I took accordion and with that I could travel I could par uh, participate in uh, performing with other groups and collaborate and then we started Nashme idea in India together and when we reached to Germany we found Ruben with a very strange story and then we formed we formed and we started everything. Do you want to talk about that story? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, it was um, pretty funny actually because I guess I were 14 or 15 years old and um, I were visiting concerts from several genres of uh, metal since I were 13, 14. So um, there were an old guy and he just knew that I'm a drummer and um, I just wanted to be so bad in a metal band and uh, no one wanted to have me in the band because everyone just said oh, you're too young just come back in five years and stuff like that <laughs> so um, I were just like pretty depressed about that but at some point Faustus just contacted me via Facebook and uh, just said, yeah, we're from the same city, so he might have a project for me. And <clears throat> then I <laughs> just uh, came with my drumsticks and visited them in their home. And we just went for a practice session together. And um, the, the best part about it was that we were not um, coming together with a project because they said that I'm too fast and stuff and that my drumming style is not fitting the music and yeah <clears throat> yeah and that point i said okay because we talked about nash made the accordion black metal concept and now we have a young fast drummer so let's pick it up and try it and that's the bam the beginning of the of the story how we just join together and then we find okay uh, nash made it will be really extreme uh, black metal music, so we need a fast drummer, we need a technical drummer. And because of lots of uh, broken rhythms and details and, you know, melancholy in this, we need, we need uh, someone young to have a good look, you know, understanding about it and, and who could help us through this journey. And that's, uh, that's uh, starting and here we go. Uh, okay, I read on your Bandcamp page that uh... Well, you describe your music as uh, ambient, oriental, uh, ritual, mantric, black metal. That's quite a mouthful. So mm. would you care to open that up a bit? Ritual is about uh, presenting something real. It's not a show. It's not entertainment. It's something that you, you build at the moment and you just circulate the energy and then you transform and transfer the energy, convey the the whole energy that is going around you as a group to the other side. So, um, and we also believe that for presenting a ritual, you need also an ordeal. So the whole way that goes from the beginning, the process of making something and then the result, which is the ritual. So for us, when we play and perform on a stage, for example, it's, something real that we've done so much uh, we've passed so much difficulties we've done so much effort it's just like with blood and sweat to bring something and represent it in a very real way and uh, the energy circulation over there is totally real and um, for us at the moment is like a transformation at that moment so this is something that ritual does 
to you and also to people that are surrounding it. Okay, you already mentioned the uh, uh, ancient person history. So would you mind going a bit deeper on uh, on your backgrounds and then where the inspiration for the music and lyrics come from? Yeah, Persian culture has, um, I don't know, more than 18 ethnicity living in one culture. And when you focus on one and you go deep, you can just live the whole life. I mean, it's a lifetime to just dig in one of the ethnicity. And it has a lot of rituals, folkloric stories, music and all that. I'm Iranian and I'm coming from um, Azari roots, one of the ethnicities of Iran. And um, there are a lot to dig from along that culture of Azari. And uh, I try to remember, try to remember all those stories, all those melodies, and combine it with the knowledge that I had, um, combine it with these classical uh, trainings that I had, and bring something that is like the combination of West and East somehow, and represent it in Nashma. Okay, and uh, how well do these two very different uh, things combine together then the, the culture and then, on the other hand, the black metal? Um, the, the basic, if I want to continue, is back to drumming. That's uh, because you, the, the Western system is based on 4-4 as a classical and the Eastern is like in different broken rhythm, like 5-7, like 6-8. So... That's the, the, the intelligence job of the drummer to, to figure the combination of this uh, tact to be matched. Uh, you can describe the, the, the drummings patterns you use in Nashma, for example. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's pretty hard to describe them actually because uh, um, I'm a self-taught drummer, so I play most of the stuff by ear and... Um, I uh, seriously I cannot tell where where I got my influence from or if I just hear a specific part uh, which drum part I need to play over it so it just comes all natural and um, I guess it, yeah it just comes automatically with the um, simplicity of the um, music we are creating so it's just an automatic process which is inside me I guess yeah, exactly. So because black metal, I think, is about simplicity and it's more about expression. So that's why all these folkloric elements um, is a very good source to use it, actually, in black metal, because they are simple and they are they have a history behind them. They are fat, you know, they are not like a, a narrow. They They have a lot of history and they have a lot of emotions of mothers of dead sons dead i don't know all this history and then uh, people try to sing it in a field they try to sing it in funerals or in ceremonies so it has a lot of um background around it and that's why it's a very good fit to use it and adopt from it and use it in black metal as an expression because they're simple and sometimes, uh, I mean, in Persian, for sure, we have a lot of like broken rhythm melodies. And but with Ruben, we just I think we uh, reached to a very good result of that because he's a very natural drummer. So he could perfectly combine all this broken and Western and bring out something really strong and powerful. Okay, uh, you already mentioned the uh, energy on your live gigs. There's of course no live gigs at the moment, but uh, what kind of experience Nasmeh concert is at its best then to the listener? Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I would just uh, say that it's somehow equal to taking drugs or so. Because um, we have several songs, I guess all of us experienced drugs already, <laughs> so um, 
We had it even in some practice sessions that we all just got high and we just played songs for hours and hours and we didn't even mention anymore that we were playing them because we were just so trapped in the music. So yeah, I don't know if you can just compare it to an acid trip or so or if it's too harsh, but it's yeah, literally like taking drugs and that's also most of the feedback we're just getting when we are playing live shows. I yeah, mean, it's like hmm. yeah. Generally, uh, the, the the ritualistic part is happening in our studio. That's it's no one there. We are just only us. And uh, as he mentioned, we really experience that ecstasy there when we playing. And that is like us connecting with energy, with melody, with the history and instruments flying out. But uh, we will bring the small part of it to the stage. To, for for people and the feedbacks we get is they they feel the same trip as we had and it was because it's, it's so melodic and it's so melancholy but we have a, like brutal parts and fast and then we have a harsh so it's like a like a ceremony of these you know conflicts all together that make uh, listeners excited sad you know and then relief at the end. Yeah, it's like getting high on your own supply <laughs> through music. And yeah, the point is because of the simplicity of the music and because you don't have much changes and you just keep everything very simple because then mind can rest and can travel. So you don't confuse mind with so much complication and with so much techniques but with more uh, intimacy and with more um, the emotion and you just um, express that emotion that just hit people and you can see it in concerts.